Any future that will not require a change from you will not be different from the past. You should be more alive with the past. Yes, indeed, if there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Hallelujah. Father, I pray, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in this place. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name, sit down. Sit down. I laid certain foundations last week. And um, by the time I requested for the message, I think around Wednesday, uh, I was very caught up in something bigger than me. So I asked that he send the message to me so I stay under that atmosphere. But unfortunately, was told that the entire service message was lost. Hope we are recording today. Ah? Huh? Okay. So, I didn't know what I said last week because I just started talking. So I, I don't have a note for the teaching. So it's so unfortunate to me personally that the message was lost. And to the millions forever that will have had the privilege of listening to that message. There are certain things you do as a ministry that cost you so much. Are we together? Messages are beyond the service. Hundred years from now, the messages are out and somebody can still listen to it. Some people even yet unborn now might still be privileged to get back to those things. So once you are not careful as a ministry with certain sensitivities of the spirit, you, you, you find that at a point, heavens withdraw the density of information they give to you since you can't jealously guard it. Are we together? So that's why I was not really happy about what happened last week. All the same, Jesus be praised. Are we together? Now through the week, I think on Wednesday, I was praying and in the middle of the night, I had a vision. Make sure it goes online. And I want to speak about it. God said to me certain things that the church is about to enter into as a season. And um, those are some of the things I want to talk about in the vision I had. So that we prepare ourselves. Are we together? The major assignment of a minister of the gospel is to align God's people to himself. It's not to look for a sermon to preach for every service. No. But to make sure that the people are in tune and in frequency with what heaven is doing part time. So once you miss that as a minister, you have missed to an extent the major part of your assignment. Are we together? So in the middle of the night, God said to me, Son, I want to show you what will befall the season for the global body of Christ, what is about to happen. You know the Bible is speaking Nagai too. Uh, I think from verse 7 to 8. He said, I will once again shake the nations. And the desires of the nations shall what? Shall come to me. Are we together? Now God said to me. He said one thing that will begin to happen upon the surface of the earth. A heightened angelic visitation in form of humans. Heightened angelic visitations in form of what? Humans. So what it means is we will begin to have encounters with angels, not necessarily in the form you have anticipated, but it will come in form of what? Humans. And how will you know them? Suddenly, you had such kind of encounter. First, is your sensitivity will pick it, and in split of seconds, you find that they are no more. Are we together? Where you require a kind of strange help, you just see somebody who won't render that help, and you will know. That this is not a human again in split of seconds that person has disappeared are we together so it calls for us to be sensitive in this season as to how we entertain strangers the bible says be careful to entertain strangers lest you entertain angels without what knowing are we following so there is about to do be an outburst of the supernatural upon the earth there is something coming down upon the earth heightened angelic visitations to men 
but in form of what humans so be very what sensitive now all through this season sometimes they will come to the service and sit down you will think they are your friends they will be in service with us you will be inside a car you will sit with an angel without even knowing so it calls that you build your what sensitivity are we together are we following are we following build your sensitivity so that you don't miss out of what give me Acts chapter 9 you don't miss out of our problem as humans thank God for the, the meeting promosphere is that we, we tend to feed more of our flesh than our spirit so we struggle so much in the natural give me Acts chapter 9 give me verse 8 let me see something give me from verse 6 so I'll take them to Ibarra. and he trembling and astonished said Lord what will thou have me to do and the Lord said unto him arise and go into the city and it shall be told thee what thou must do now this is the apostle Paul when he was still sore on his way to Damascus he had a mind-blowing encounter what we call a Mara vision a Mara vision is a vision that affects you and even those around you it can touch your mortal body are we together so he had such kind of mind-blowing encounter such that everybody around him didn't know what was happening to him he was just speaking to somebody they don't know who he was talking to say lord what will you have me do are we together give me the next verse and the men which journeyed with him stand speechless hearing a voice but seeing no man are we together they stood speechless next verse listen very carefully at this point and Saul arose from the earth and when his eyes were opened he saw no man but they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus wait one minute I'm confused and when he stood up and his eyes were opened which eyes I, I thought he was blind did you capture what I'm trying to say to you are we following I thought we are talking about a blind guy here he was already blinded by that light and yet the Bible is telling us when he stood up <laughs> and his eyes were opened which eyes was that it tells us because even after his eyes were opened he was still blind because the next phrase is telling us people were leading him <laughs> did you capture what I'm trying to make you see are we together so what does that tell us there is a eye beyond the natural are we following I'm trying to help you how to connect into the season it's not just to give you the vision but to teach you how to connect there is an eye beyond the natural his eyes were opened and he saw no man and they led him if he was blind by which eye was he seeing the man talking to him there is an eye beyond the natural such that you can still be blind in the physical and still have an eye open and you can still be open having an open eye in the physical and have another eye which is more essential for you blind are we together so what the bible was telling us about there is a spiritual eyes you don't behold the realities of heaven with your naked eyes he said the things of the spirit cannot be received by the carnal mind because they are spiritually discerned another verse i think amplified said they are spiritually received are we together so he had a spiritual eyes what opened so the easiest way to see in the spirit is to see through what the eye beyond the natural now let me make it very easy for you how do you train yourself to that art number one hang around stronger eyes as iron sharpened iron so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend hang around those with what with stronger eyes it sharpens your eyes are we together now number two i will stop there learn to visualize the spiritual eyes operates 90.99999 whatever approximation percent 
in the realm of what the imagination are we together i can be seeing all of you here now and still be seeing an angel not necessarily with my naked eyes do we capture that are we following so be sensitive in the season we are be sensitive don't get too carried away that you lose out of the happenings around you put your hands on your eyes and pray oh god open my eyes we just found that that many are seen but they are blind oh god open my eyes to see and when he stood up and he opened his eyes yet he was still blind in the physical open my eyes to see in jesus name we pray so be very sensitive in this season are we together be very sensitive god is going to make use of his angels in this season are we following not because of me not because of you just because of what a season ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 he said to everything there is a time and a season under heavens so god works by times and seasons be careful how you treat people are we together because suddenly the purpose you have been wanting to know that idea you've been looking for that inspiration the angel can stand in front of your friend and take a hold of his vocal cord and begin to speak and yet you think your friend is still discussing with you are we together you think it's still a mere discussion how do i know philippians 2 13 he said he walketh in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure he walk in men are we together be sensitive number two god said to me in that vision he said son i will scatter upon the surface of the earth outstanding signs some of you will come out in a day from this moment i am eradicating it already i give you the next 24 hours 48 hours you begin to see everybody talk about it too i will follow it's just a privilege to pioneer this there will be outstanding signs you will come out you will physically see the image of angels on the sky you will see certain things you will know that there is a god in heaven he said i want to do this and what is a sign a sign is not god it only points you to god the essence of why god manifests sign is to pull the attention of a person are we together so it's not the sign is that forget all this one you will see something on the tree begin to worship with you no it's to pull the attention of men to draw them closer to god when you are coming closer you see a somebody still rcf is the somebody rcf it only leads you to the direction of what rcf outstanding signs some of you will wake up in the middle of the night and suddenly you observe all your bed spread is soaked with the anointing oil you will look for bottles of oil in your room you won't see signs so i will scatter signs and wonders on the earth are we together <laughs> Are we following? You no, know, I was listening to one of my papa, and a woman was testifying in his church how no a man, how he picked ten thousand naira, put it in his locker, came back later it became hundred thousand naira, put it back into the locker, came back it became two hundred thousand, put it back, came back three hundred thousand, put it back four hundred thousand till it became a million, ten thousand times. Now you must adjust your mind to agree with the ideologies of heaven because some of you what is sitting upon you is your village shrine are we together so when you see something like that the first thing you think is your village adjust your mind don't get so used to demonism that you accredit everything to the devil are we following signs 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 so every day you wake up you know the bible says the children god has given us are for signs and wonders wake up expecting and anticipating a sign are we following some of you you can just be sitting down if god can turn a fish into an atm he can do anything you can just be sitting down and walking and say ha i need a charge card now i don't have money more. some you just be feeling money i'm telling you of signs now is it for everybody oh for those who decide to connect to what heaven is what doing are we together there is no word that has left this altar that has not come back with a witness no word 
the team of the morning we are talking to some of my children outstanding testimonies crazy crazy testimonies crazy crazy testimonies not one comes without a witness are we together science 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 you wake up in the morning you can be so surprised you see the clothes you are supposed to wear already ironed waiting for you on the bed you see as i'm saying is some of you your village people is talking to you already your village people is talking say ah ah what's that one science i'm just giving you the kind of examples i can and i know i'm not still speaking myself where he's taking a hold of my vocal cords possibly these are the signs we enjoy you hear one of our daughter in this place was it the week before we closed the semester for the exams she went to our room when i prayed that your food stop will multiply she had one spaghetti they came three i've seen signs last was it last year exams i gave a prophecy i said god give us a sign to prove that you help the people in the exams and god said to me something in the service and i said this is the sign he said somebody in this place will buy a brand new biro use it in the exam the biro will remain the way you bought it no ink will leave it did you see it and the young man blasted in first class it's not kululu kalala are we together no there is a sign your job is to put your faith on the line why the just hebrews 10 38 right the just is configured to live by faith that's how we are configured to live our lives are we together the outstanding signs so every day wake up with an anticipation of a miracle are we together wake up you can enter into a car you don't know anybody in the car and they say driver leave the money i pay for this young man that's a sign you don't know the person the person does not look like somebody from your village or your state of or local government and the person decides to want to pay when heaven brings men under compulsion to fulfill its mandate on the earth and finally the third thing god said to me is the release of creative ideas the release of creative ideas in quietness and in stillness shall thy strength be made known that's the instruction following that now he is also talking to me and i'm using that to you also he's saying son tell them to have times where they stay quiet in my presence i'm not saying when i talk about his presence i'm not saying when you're in church service keep quiet no find time daily where you sit in his presence and be quiet the release of what creative ideas you can see god will really want to bless his people are we following that's why he's doing all these things to bless them creative ideas creative ideas creative ideas you sit down and inspiration will come upon you you just say i need to do this i need to do that you think you are thinking it up but no the holy ghost is taking a hold of your memory influencing it with the ideas of heaven rise up to your feet and let's pray first prayer lord tonight i pray in this season may i enjoy unusual help let me show you a scripture second chronicles every man you see on the surface of the earth was helped by god second chronicles 26 verse 15 can you give me that scripture and he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bookmarks to shoot arrows and great stones with her. And his name spread far abroad, for he was marvelously help. Oh God, in this season, send me unusual help. May I enjoy angelic help in this season, oh God send me unusual help send me unusual help in the name of jesus send us unusual help in jesus name we pray the next prayer we are praying is in line with the vision i saw lord 
flood me with creative ideas flood me with creative ideas feed me with your inspiration that's the prayer flood me the first manifestation of the Holy Ghost is in creativity oh. the Bible says when the earth was about to be created and the heavens the Holy Ghost brooded the first introduction of God was not in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 it was not I am the Lord it was in the beginning God created God created that's how he was introduced what creations are you bringing to solve the problem of mankind and to advance the kingdom oh God flood me with creative ideas flood me with creative ideas can you raise your voice to pray tonight Zeleka bom pila ho kabaya talago gonsa ha eru du 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 ake bala has komiete raba baba shata lago sialogodo ena mansu baraki kalo shata lebeberika soma yantu blegiya iya go ban shata yas ela bribo shata yaga brada na na yaga bilegelish brada dadan zogo logo yegedos ena mansu bala zoga biata. Lebe beri go zaya la bragadaj, sheta barada baga zome lege brine koza, ila la go siata, ela gambobo ya babante bilikidish, leba bro sataya, igra go sataya gabire na na magodosa, rada baka bar sataya galiza, ela brino zaya la baragadi, rada dada ya gabrina koza baya da garaj, rada dan zoto logo boza, e braba baba ba sata. Ikalo baradi eke bombosi alagado rada go azoto balahas ikam brebe be yaga belegedesa rado sata yaga boratosa ena mambele ida lebe brigo sata ela kwa kwa sota ina mambregedesa rada da yaga brana na mayada braga be yaga baya da basa brane ko baya da bruaga legedosa. Na brua ga swame ne geduta le bebere shate ala gosa ala gosa shata ika o baba zia do belegele ani mando boyo kubush. Shada da da yaga brene na yaga brene na yamalaga balaga da. Igo barada ba yaga priya laga priya laba yaga priya laga priya laba laga da. Rado do 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 go brene na ba yaga priya laga priya laba laga da. Rada da do shata laga priya laga laga priya laga laga da. Ika mo shata la. Ela lega go sana yaga priya laga da. Raba ba swa ba nega dua. Ena kri do do shata yaga priya laga da. Rada ba 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 shoka ba. Ika mo mo abo azala dia. Radang gua gua suaban legedo inang rodo do do boyo go bayata. In Jesus name we pray. So we bow down. Yahweh, sit down, sit down. We bow. Somebody come, please. The scripture, John 15, for me from verse one. Someone come quickly. Pick this one. Just pick it and hold it. Hold it as high as you can. Please assume this is a tree. Is that okay? For the purpose of this service, are we together? Tell your neighbor is an example. Cause somebody can go now and say, Papa turned the flower to a tree in service. This is still a flower. I said, assume. It is a tree. It's an assumption. Uh -huh. You know, we have to correct church people. Because anything that is twisted and you are in trouble, you can't defend yourself. I am the true vine. And the father is the husband man. In agriculture, this is what we call the vine. Are we together? And these are like the branches with the flowers and the fruits. Do we get that? So Jesus said, he is what? The true vine. 
are we following and his father is what the husband man that means the one that takes care of what the true vine follow me i want to talk about primosphere a little bit then we'll begin to pray by the next one hour we'll deal with our families next verse every branch in me that beareth not fruit he take it away and every branch that beareth fruit he purged it that he may bring forth much fruit next verse now you are clean through the word which i have spoken unto you next verse abide in me and i in you wait look up now i like correcting young people because sometimes they have so much of confusion upstairs he said you are clean by the words i what i spoke to you are we together it means the place of the word brings about spiritual cleanness are we together are we following but the next verse is now telling you beyond you being clean by the words abide in me the place of prayer and koinonia why let's read on are we following now yes abide in me and i in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine no man can except he abide in me he didn't say no man may no man might so it means as we take the word the word cleanses us the word changes our concept changes our ideology about the christian faith however we don't become the full man of christ just that way are we together we have to carry that information we have collected from the word to the place of what prayer that's why the greek word for prayer is the word prosuche it means bringing what you have put inside so you take the word inside of you and in the place of prayer you bring it out do we understand now i will do this with this now i will read through to verse 8 this is the vine right are we together now if i cut any of this branch or fruit or leaves out of this vine all it takes is some minutes and seconds or hours what happens to the fruit that it's gone it's dead so it means the survival of this branch is tied to what its attachment to what the vine and what it means is one as long as this branch remains attached to the vine it has first support two protection because on its own the wind blows it away but the vine gives it what protection is a shield for it that means you can see some trees the, the stalk or the stems are very tiny but the breeze blows it and it's still standing it is actually drawing from the strength of what the vine are we together number two observe that these branches and these leaves don't struggle from where they are planted to go look for nutrients they don't struggle to go look for vitamins it's the vine that does all the work it spreads its tentacles its root as far as kilometers from where it is just to make sure it get the required nutrient for what for the branches and the leaf are we together are we following now now i want you to understand something secondly the fruits are supposed to appear on this list right are we together if i block this leaf out what have i done i have killed its fruit bearing ability i'm trying to make you understand what the bible is saying there that's why it didn't say you may not bear fruit he said you cannot what does it mean look up just hold that and stand a little bit look up because i want you to understand the need for prayer then you won't see it as a tradition but as a necessity next week i'll be teaching on the necessity of prayer 10 principles 10 things why you can't afford a life of prayer are we together now look up and listen anytime i come into an atmosphere of prayer i told you promosphere is about creating what an atmosphere of prayer an atmosphere conducive for your survival and growth are we together anytime i come into an atmosphere of prayer what am i doing i am getting attached to what the vine and what happens all my genetic codings begin to tell the vine i am now with you give me the required nutrient to produce fruits 
I will say something to you that will shock you now. It means the moment I stop praying, I stop bearing fruit. Just listen. I will explain. The moment I stop praying, what it means is now we are praying. What's happening? I am producing fruits again. I'm getting required nutrients. Are we following? It's like an attachment to the vine. Immediately we finish this service. Now, and I step out of the door. What it means is that you stop bearing fruit. I will explain. Just relax. Are we together? <laughs> Do we follow? You stop bearing what? Fruit. Does it mean you don't have fruit? No. It means where your fruit stops is what you supply to your world and generation. That's why Premosphere is not just about you maintaining a lifestyle of prayer in the service, even on the way. What am I doing? I'm producing fruits. Do we understand? Are we together? So it means that's why last week I talked about the greenhouse effect. How the greenhouse is made in certain agricultural produce and kept there to give it the required light, moisture, and temperature for its survival and growth. Because not everything survives everywhere. I bring some kind of crop now, like apple. If I put it in Mina, you will see pool. No app. It won't grow. Is it because we don't have a soil? Other things still grow here. But this is not the atmosphere conducive for its what? For its survival. It's missing man is a spirit and his needs must be satisfied spiritually that's why you struggle that's why you are confused this is the secret maintaining a lifestyle of prayer not just in service not just in your devotion every moment you can like the great and poor young Icho we say let your daily schedule be praying interrupted by other things not other things then when I have time for prayers no they understood that the moment I stop praying now doesn't mean I don't have fruits on me but I don't experience any form of what increase or growth are we following are we together so he tells you to what abide that's why hear the word he didn't say you should visit him and go away he says stay and I'm trying to make you understand that it's not just you stay with the scripture and say you are cramming Bible no he said it the verse before that Say you are clean by the word already. I have spoken. You are clean. However, abide in me. Learn to dwell with me. Are we together? So prayer is an atmosphere for the believer's growth. It's an atmosphere conducive for that word he has read, the things he has read, to begin to what produce fruits. It becomes a lifestyle. You are traveling in the car you take an advantage of it you are walking from your hostel to the class you are in that mood and atmosphere pattern that's how our fathers survived the atmosphere of prayer so that you are bearing fruit all the time are we together and you see fruits are in sizes so it means the more i hook to the vine the more i keep getting the real trend the more my fruits begin to multiply the more my fruit, um, imagine it's a mango, the more it begins to grow bigger. Are we following? You can have something tiny and it's still a mango. But it depends on the kind of problem it can solve. That's why you can't solve every problem. It depends on the amount of what? The fruit you carry. So fruitfulness flows from intimacy. Together. Are we following? So that's what prayer does. Imagine, let me give you another example. Prayer is the atmosphere for the Christian survival. If I pick a fish, right? If this is a fish now, and I withdraw this fish out of water, let me tell you what some of you are doing that you don't understand about prayer. If I pick this fish out of water, what it is natural habitat? Water. So your natural habitat is an atmosphere of prayer. That's why in Genesis, the structure of the kingdom was that God creates the environment before he creates the product for it. Because he knows things cannot survive everywhere. So he made the firmament first before he made the stars. He made the land before he commanded the animals to come up on the plants. He made the sea first before he commanded fish to grow. So he creates the environment first 
before introducing the product for that environment that's why even when he made man in genesis 1 26 he left man first in the spiritual dimension and the bible says in chapter 2 verse 1 and the lord god planted a garden because the man he has created in his own image that means look like god carries dna and characteristics and after his likeness means that man must walk with the holy ghost to gradually become fully him are we together must survive in the kind of atmosphere God survives so he had to create something called the garden of Eden and he picked man and put him there for man to survive you don't survive everywhere are we together do we understand prayer now so that's what prayer must have come to introduce that you create consistently that atmosphere of what of prayer around you so that your spiritual DNA begin to what grow begin to manifest so if i pick this fish out of water from its natural habitat and i keep it on this land will it die it won't are we following it will just be struggling to what to survive now this is what some of you do if i keep the fish like this then after five minutes i pour some water you know i've increased its length of survival it will stay like that i it will begin to struggle again i pour some water that's the nature of your prayer life so you are feeling like, sir, what is no? How will you say pray most express creating an atmosphere of prayer? And once I pray in service till next week, really, you won't go far with that. That's why, see, after tonight's meeting, trace the life of the apostles. They had what they call a prayer design. They call them the hour of prayer. On our way to the temple at the hour of prayer. Have your own hours of prayer. Set alarms. Are we together if you say you want to pray your schedule should be five times daily six times set alerts even when you are in the class and that thing just slashes you put the label or the title there and say soaking in prayers or maintaining atmosphere once it comes in class just shade up a heart, a heart. continue your lecture i'm teaching you how we survive <laughs> are we together they have prayer design and we are on our way in the hour of prayer even jesus came on the earth and survived like that luke 6 12 he said i immediately finished with the multitude he will seclude himself to a solitude place to go pray before the dawning of the day mark 1 35 he will seclude himself to a place pray so that he can germinate a lot of fruits then when he comes to the generation, he just releases those fruits. Be it in the form of an inspiration, an idea. Be it in the form of the prophetic unction. Be it in the form of miracles, healings. He never spent more than a minute on any case. He produced fruits. Are we together? It's a mystery in God. The Bible says, and Jesus went after the day in the evening and went to the Mount of Olives and he spent all the night there. All the night there make up your mind that God will hear your voice more before he hear the voices of men. Pray! I was telling some of my children while we were praying last night I said, the Bible says and Lazarus, Jesus came before the grave of Lazarus and shouted Lazarus, come out! Before he did that what did he say? Father, thank you for your for you hear me. When did he pray the prayer? Have you asked yourself? The Bible says immediately I approached there and saw Martha and Mary. What happened? He groaned in his spirit. The word groaned there means he threatened death. He had finished his prayer and God heard him. So when he came there, he was not praying again. The Bible says, and Nehemiah, in Nehemiah chapter 2, appeared before the king. And the king said, why is your countenance like this? He said, because my father's house lies in ruin. He said, what do you want? He said, and I pray to the God of heaven to grant me favor. And he, he, was, he was still talking to the king and said he was praying to the God, to God of heaven to grant him favor. How? Pray most fair. Maintaining a culture and a life of prayer. Are we together? Everything grows in its peculiar atmosphere. Everything grows in its peculiar atmosphere. That's why you struggle so much. You are outside your natural habitat. Are we together? You are outside your natural habitat. That's why anything gets you afraid. I was telling my son yesterday, I said, I don't pray and travel. Me, pray. I say, Oh Lord, I am going on the journey now. Uh, please give me a safe journey. Cover the vehicle, the blood of just why. Will I blind the driver? 
Why? Is the blood made for covering driver's vehicles? Is that what the Bible told you? Say the, without, there's no remission of sin without the sprinkler. But why are you using it to blind the driver's eye? Now you have an accident, you are now wondering why. You blinded his eye with the blood. The blood is a thick substance. High viscosity. How will a driver see like that? Are we together? Why? It's a lifestyle. I will prepare days, months, years before. The food you eat is not what survives you today. That's why you fast and you can still survive for some days. Are we following? So it's not that prayer that day that should keep you. I pray since that I am heavily defended and protected. I can be touched easily. Rise up to your feet. Let's pray one prayer. Oh God! Stay in power in the place of prayer. Baptize my life. Stay in power! Now, I'm sure some of you on average might be hearing prayer for the very first time in this kind of way. No, they've told you, pray, you must pray, you must pray. No. My job in the body of Christ is to rightfully divide the word of truth. You know when you carry 50 divided by 5, you are breaking it to the smallest number possible. So you can really understand what I'm saying. It's your survivor. It's your natural habitat. That is why even the apostles of Jesus said, teach us how to pray. Like John also taught his disciples. Teach us. So instead of you rushing to a man as a double portion of the anointing, tell him, teach me how to pray. What he got, he got it through that same route. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall carry the Shaddai power. The word Shaddai is all might. A power that is incomprehensible that a mortal man can contain. He said, that man will carry it. Are we together? Lord, stay in power in the place of prayer. Release upon my life. Can we turn that to prayer? Shita, raise your voice and pray. Yepaka do sata yagata. We still pray that prayer. Listen, I am praying tonight from my heart that you will catch what I'm sharing to you. If I take away your breath, what happens right now? You are dead. Prayer is the spiritual oxygen for the Christian. That's why, you see, Jesus was trying to give us a principle about this. In Luke 18 verse 1, he said that men ought always to pray and not to faint. What is the reason for fainting? It means a blockage of what? Air. You have an issue with the flow of what? Oxygen. So it begins to lead you to what? To faint. Because the relationship between your oxygen and the hemoglobin of your blood begin to have issues. So your blood begins to close. Then you collapse. You become what we call unconscious. Prayer is the spiritual oxygen. When you see a man that complains too much, he's a prayerless man. A man that has left everything in the hand of God, we talk little. I was telling my children yesterday, if you see people making noise, leave them. Parrots make much noise, but don't go high. Eagles are the most silent creatures of bed on the earth. Yet they so are high. It's not my noise. <laughs> are we together? That's your spiritual oxygen. When a mother is pregnant of a child, have you thought of it? Just one day, you didn't eat. You say, you know, get yourself. Only God know where yourself go. One day. But a child stays in a mother's womb for nine months. No food. 
it means there is a possibility for a human to survive without natural food now what makes that possible is what we call the placenta so all the child do was just to sit down there and be ready for growing the mother does all the work prayer is your spiritual placenta that's how you hook to the divine i showed you the story of the vine right what jesus he said with abide in me this is how you survive the moment you are off <laughs> you will, you will struggle are we together you will struggle so if there's one place you must show strength and grace is in the place of prayer in the place of prayer are we following that tonight god will teach us how to pray teach us if i can raise a prayerful people i have done 90 percent of my work as a minister prayerful people 90 percent of my work we'll pray that same prayer again your spiritual placenta you are struggling you don't know what to do you don't know what you where to go it's a sign that you are disconnected from the divine it's a sign it's a sign you find out that everything you get it has to be with struggles i was telling some of my children yesterday i will sit in the office somebody will call get through how they get through the contacts of those that manages my social media platform i'm not on facebook for your for your i'm not there all right but when you chat don't worry, they'll tell me you chat you can greet me uh, they'll tell me you greeted me is that okay so they get their numbers from those people collect my account and just that i had a message and god said i should send this to you like that <laughs> now hear me prayer is your spiritual placenta your spiritual placenta i was showing one of my son alalat yesterday while we were praying he almost collapsed pronouncing the figures <laughs> just sleeping in Ocentland, land over a million now. he was uh, uh, i say pronounce it pronounce it it's money call it prayer is your survival capsule once I can see a man assured of strength in the place of prayer, don't mind what his life look like now. I can predict his end. I don't care his surrounding circumstances. As long as that man keep knocking at the gates of heaven, one day they will answer. You know why? Both the devil and God bows to pressure. Both the devil and God bows to pressure the bible says in luke 18 and verse 1 through to 7 he said and them and jesus said the whom the unrighteous just said not because i fear god but because this woman keep disturbing me i will give her what she wants i was telling my children you can pray for the dimension of healing now out of your hunger your desperation not because you love god but your pain you will hit the requirement in the spiritual realm and he will give you the gift you think god cannot give you a gift and yet he has nothing to do with you the bible says in matthew 25 he called unto himself three of his servants. he gave one five talents one two talent and one one talent and he left them and journeyed to a far country god can give you a gift and his presence is not there he gives you and leave you alone he gave them gifts and traveled out left them is a possibility that's why we don't look at the gift we look at the present sponsoring that gift prayer the life wire of a believer i wrote two books part one and two you are sentenced to a life of prayer you know when you see such a book of title it's trying to tell you that you don't have an option i wish i do you don't have an option if jesus don't have an option to which you don't if the apostles never had an option with it to which you don't stay in power raise your voice to pray in the place of prayer lord release that grace of Oh, 
Give me you Everything else can wait We'll be praying for ourselves alongside our family now Give me you I hope I'm not Lord, give me you Lord, give me you Lord, give me you Lord, give me you Give me you, yeah Everything else can wait Give me you. I hope I'm not to live. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Job 42 and verse 10 to 11. Job 32, 42 and verse 10 to 11. There is a place my heart yearns for. Now let's, let's read. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Do you understand that? Now, when you read, remember the kind of wealth Job had in Job chapter 1. And the Bible calls him the richest man in the east. Now, after this verse, coming to the ending, we see the Bible calling him the richest man on the earth. We are trying to understand by the system and ordinances of God, how comes a man... <laughs> that lost everything just by praying but adventure maybe Ghana must go we are falling from heaven we want to know read give me the next verse let me see how this protocol came about then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did bring and he did it with bread with him in his house and they bemoan him are we seeing that are we following who came his sisters, his brothers, his friends, his acquaintance before. He, it's not as if he didn't know them. He knew them. But there was nothing attractive about his life to them. And the Bible says, every man that saw him, gave to him. You see how God multiplied it? Every man that saw him, gave to him. God says, Solomon, you've not asked for wealth, but we multiply your wealth. How did God do it? He caused men to be given to him. 
the queen of Sheba brought gold. Are we following? People begin to bring things to him. How? Give me Psalm 17, verse 14. Quickly, Psalm 17, 14. From men which I thy hand. So for you praying that you want to see the hand of God, what does he send? Men. He said, Men are his hand. Oh God, for my life and family, connect us to destiny, help us. That's one of the secrets to my advancement. People, when God plants people around your life to help you, to hold your hands and say you will not suffer. Like Reuben, Moses said, Let not his men be few. Let not his men. Once your men are few, what you experience is death. He was dying young. No one was crossing 40. He said, let not his men be few. Let Reuben live. No great man, only helped men. Only helped men. To every man you see great on this earth, there is somebody helping him. There is somebody saying, I will hold your hands. I will make sure you stand strong. There is somebody helping him. Why I'm not walking to you to beg to eat is because there are people helping me. I, I told us last week a young man just listened to the message, collected my number from one of my daughter, and sent me a message. He said, Sir, I listened to your messages and I was blessed. I saw them on Facebook. Those are messages I am pre preaching to you live and direct. And after I'm done now, you put an offering that you squeeze. Murutala is already angry. The way you bend his face. You don't put it inside, but you are hearing the message life. See, are we together? He just heard it in a sermon. He said, sir, God said to me, monthly, I should be sending this to your account. Raving bed still feeds the prophet. Are we together? Hey! Raving bed still feeds the prophet. It's a possibility in God. There are no great men. There are heavy men. Are we following? I don't survive my ministry. I don't get paid from your work. God takes care of me. Are we together? Oh God, connect my life to destiny help us. Connect my life to... I was telling some of my children, I said I want to do something very important and I took just a rugged seat. I told my daughter, I said, where you are coming to service, take my tea and we drive everything. And she gave me in service and I put everything in the account. I said, Lord, take care of this for me. I traveled to a place, not the meeting I went for as honorarium. Where I want, just those that say, Oh, you are in town, so I came to see you. I got that quarter, half a million to take care of it. Half, just like that. Sir, so you are in town, wait, I'm coming, I'm coming, I must come. Sir, so don't go, I must see you. Not from honorarium. When God raises men for you, people who will take up your responsibility like their personal affair. Are we together? One of my father in South Africa, he said, a man looked at him and said, anything about finances for your life and church, leave it to me. Let the world know you have a son. Let the world know you have a son. Not toxic, toxic people. People that are giving you headache, headache, headache. It's not in quantity. I might not have them plenty, but I have quality people. Quality people. <laughs> are we together? Not for myself. He said, for men which I thy hand. Men which are thy hand. The Bible says, and after Jesus finished his preaching engagement, God gave him two people to be helping him. Who was that? Lazarus, Martha, and Mary. That's where he goes to chop. They say, Jesus, don't worry, we'll be taking care of your meal, of your feeding. Paul said, Aquila, my helper in Christ. Aquila, my helper. He had a woman helping him. I say, Paul, anything that has to do with your finances, I take care of it. My helper in Christ. Who is your helper? Who is your helper? Who is your helper? That's why, listen, listen. A man of God is saying something, let me say to you today. Especially those of you that are very excellent students. You find out that you suffer more in life. Two major things are your problem. Number one is lack of verbal confidence. Number two is preconceived thought. An average excellent student cannot talk to people. That's why you don't see them in politics. Are we together? You don't see them there. It's all the hey, 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 brothers. Because they know that's the only way they will survive. So they know how to bend down for everywhere. You go to an office now, you just carry your 
your certificate. Say this is the application for the job. And the guy says, sir, please, you just say, anyway, you can just put one or two, I need your help. And you, you are doing your certificate like you. Because he knows that's the only option he has. And people reward loyal people. Loyalty is better than competence. Will you help somebody that knows the team or you help somebody that will be loyal to you? Be sincere with yourself. Loyalty is better than what? Competence. Are we together? So that's number one. Papa Kumfi, they can't talk. So you find out that they always struggle in life and the people you are calling the non-good students are the one excelling. Number two is preconceived thought. An average first class student, I was a first class, so I'm not trying to tell you not to get it. I'm a first class student. Are we together? I didn't buy it. I got it. Is that okay? And they didn't push me inside. A real first class. Uh -huh. Are we together? I'm not from Alsa or Arabic, chemical engineering. You, how many of you are chemical? You know, you, you, we read book. Others used to read hand out. We read book. Is that also? Uh -huh. That's personal. It's just me and chemical people. Don't be angry. It's just that we know ourselves. Uh -huh. Now, the second thing is preconceived thought. A good student is used to people asking him for help. Hey, please, bro, Abraham, can you solve this thing for me? That's how he grew all his life in campus. So when he comes out of school, he finds it's totally abnormal to be the one asking people for help. And the other average guy, or the B and C student, that always, I beg, if you solve this thing for me, I beg, guy, help me, help me. He comes out of this life and he lives like that. He's always ready to ask for what? Assistance. Then you see him walking everywhere. You are now wondering, life is not fair, life is not fair, life is <laughs> Life has never been fair. Are we together? It has never been. So adjust your ideology today. Are we together? I've seen the least expected people being a blessing to me. I was telling some of my children, people you least expect. One of, the, one of my daughters that is a very huge blessing to my life till date and ministry, I met her just like two days to her leaving this campus. Two days. So, no communication. We never spoke. I told you some people that takes care. What comes to my account monthly sometimes over 200, 300, 400,000. People that send them, some of them have never met them with my physical eyes. They only listen to message. I'm a, we are praying a, some days. A man called me from Kaduna in the midst of the prayer. He said, Somebody like this gave me your number. The guy that gave me my number is one of the people that sent me to my account. I've never met him in my life. He said, The person explained, Sir, this, this, this is my issue. I am married. This is the problem. This is the problem. I said, Right, God solved it for you. He stands, he just wears something. He says, I'm sowing into the grace. I said, This man, see the boy talking. <laughs> my ask for his money back so i'm keeping it perfect <laughs> when god decides to help a man when he decides to help a man are we together oh god raise for me connect me to destiny helpers connect my family to destiny helper. plant quality people around our life she
We will pray. Well, as we are praying, I will baptize you with wisdom. Are we together? Keep relationship cool with people. Don't despise anyone. Are we following? You never can tell. And my daughter went to the bank to do some things. She goes to the ministry to do. I was coming in the bus. We had seen some things. And she made a statement to me. She said, Papa, this is what you used to say. Future is microseconds. Somebody you can be talking to now. You can, two of you can be like a kind of pep. By one phone call and that a text message that person will receive. You might not be able to see that person again as, he's, as you do. Tell your neighbor, relax. The best of a man is still a man. Relax. I've seen God raise people and I've seen him bring people down. Relax. Be cool with people. Are we following? Especially the people. You, now hear me. Write what I am saying now. 90% of your help in life will come from the people you least expect. Ninety <laughs> percent of your help in life will come from the people you least expect. Not some of you that just you see you feel you have some people continue. You'll be shocked. The people you look like no entities that don't know what they are doing. I have told you how God blesses my life. How God blesses me. You know what it is to do ministry in the student environment? How much is your average tight? An average of you now, maybe God they send you 50,000 average, which is not possible for some of you. But let's assume that's what they send you monthly. How much is tight out of it? 5k. How will I survive if I live by that? In the student environment. If you are working like in places like Abuja where somebody can even be collecting 100 million on salary, it's tight like 10 million. Uh -huh, you say you are doing ministry. This one. You are the helper. <laughs> you came like a sheep to be slaughtered. <laughs> when Jesus gave their life, you gave your life for them. Are we together? But God begin to raise people for you. Begin to raise people for you. Are we together? Raise his people. Quality people. Quality people. And you know, from my little experience, I'll teach you some things that was very sensitively. From my little experience, you know, one of the greatest secrets to breakthrough leave that you know when the bible calls ladies help us it is true my major help has come from women ladies you know all these men they have girlfriends they won't take care of so how would they even have your time as a father they have things they are pursuing <laughs> when i was coming to me i told you a lady cash five hundred thousand and say take do anything you want five hundred she walks in the bank say take if you give me knife, I change shirts. You never be hearing my sermon in service again. Say, Paraventure is the money you used to buy shirts. <laughs> that is, you're in my house, right? There are clothes in that locker I have not worn since it was bought. Over 100 of them in that locker sitting. And you know, I dash out clothes with ease because I'm not a clothes person. Some of you think I dress. I'm not a clothes person. I dash out clothes with ease. They are clothes sitting like that. Are we together? Help us. Quality people. That's what I'm teaching you. That his hands are men. I'm teaching you to make sure you keep good relationship with people. Don't quarrel with people. At best, you can give a kind of arm's length to save yourself, but don't quarrel. Because I can do without you, really. I told you most of the time, God will hide the help you need in life in the hands of those you don't want it from. In the hands of... I've seen people that do... You know what we used to do? Hey, 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 hey you, when you are done... I can do without him. I go. I know the system how heavens operate. One day something will happen. They find out that they need to come back to me. <laughs> then I begin to laugh. I say, see, it's every service I used to shout this thing, but they will not hear. Do, do, you know do you how you, you wish God can dodge it? Let it not pass through that person. But there's nothing you can do. So be good with people. Is that okay? I don't just want it to enter into prayer. You pray, pray, oh Lord, send them. But when they come, you can chase them be good with people build contacts today i was standing in front of school to take a bike and i saw a pregnant woman why the bike just stopped i say madam take I say wow that's kind of you you never can tell that might be an open door for you it's called the law of indirect efforts first do for people what you want them to do for you don't be there madam is there any way you can help me no do something naturally that makes them indebted to you 
they just they will be looking for every way to want to pay you back. The law of what? Indirect effort. You can do this all if you want to hear this. Thing. Are we together? Let's pray this prayer again. Oh God. We'll pray this prayer and two more prayer for our families. We are done. One of my papa, he started ministry. I, I met him um, 2000 and when did I come to this campus? Nine, okay, 2008. The year before I came to FET Mina. So a great man of God. Very, very big. Big. His church sends him three months interval to vacations, any country in the world. That time, that's what I call I meaning. It's good. It's good. After three months, he preached. He said, Pastor, you have tried vacation with your family. But he was struggling to eat, to feed his family. You know, when you carry your children and distribute it to people, that you can't feed yourself personally. He said, and one day he got tired. He went to the mountain to pray for 40 days. Oh, God! Change my story. And God said, I give you one prayer point. Lord, deliver my deliverance. Connect me to my destiny. But God said, This is the only prayer you should pray for 40 days. 40 days. He prayed, prayed, prayed. After he prayed his prayer, sit down a little bit. He came back for the meeting, went to his house, enjoyed God, and sat. After like two, three, four, five days, they brought him an invitation to come and preach in a full gospel businessman fellowship around this area there where his struggling church is with almost 10 or 13 members gave an invitation and he went there he said he had to look for his agbada the last one he has that looks alive polish it touch it iron it do everything he can and he went to the meeting he said we have a man of god i think he said in that meeting there were just seven of them not this kind of meeting people don't come many just seven of them in the north a headquarter just in the streets now they hold the, they hold those programs and he entered there say so maybe they gave him the mic as he started to preach he took the first step he had hmm? The trust has turned. <laughs> Say, and God said, huh? The shed saw. He said, so he comport himself. The Bible is real. You know? <laughs> Sometimes when you, see, when you see a man of God taking posture, something might have been wrong somewhere. So he, he has to stay. He, you know, at that point, you are destabilized. He was confused. Thinking of what to do. He was, he just, he was just talking nonsense. Just preaching here and there. When he was done, he finished the meeting and he went back home. Three days later, a man came to his house and knocked. Innocently dressed, very cool and calm. And said, please, are you the pastor that came to preach for us in the full gospel movement? He said, actually, I just came to town. I don't stay here. I stay in the United States. So I just came to town and decided to attend. Somebody invited me to the program. He said, what you thought, I have never heard anyone of God preach like that in my life. Somebody that was saying rubbish. You know, God will make you know that it was not you. That's the good thing. If he had preached his best sermon now, he would say it's because of the quality of the message. He said, the man said, I will be traveling back with my wife just to go and do some things. I just brought this to God said I should give it to you. And he just innocently collected the envelope because it looked very, very slim. And kept it. <laughs> and told the man, bye-bye prayed for him. When he went, he just told his wife, I beg, open the envelope. The wife opened the envelope. It was a check of $100,000. That was the beginning of his wealth. The man traveled after two months from abroad. He said, God said, I should come and bless you anytime I come. He brought almost a hundred million. A local pastor with ten members. You know, there's a kind of wealth that brings crowd. It makes ministry grow naturally just organize scholarship scheme for students they will become your church member when you are paying their school of 28,000 you force them now they should fee from which department you are to qualify for this scholarship and your HOD must sign from that department and you must write on a department you will not miss church service they will come there is a kind of wealth that advances the church naturally that's how God changes story to your date change it completely. Rise up to your feet. Let's pray that prayer once more. Change it completely. I, I shared to my children the story of one of my papa, Apostle John Slayman. How God, he was eating corn shaft after a woman do pap from her roof. Go and eat when he started church. Go and eat corn shaft. He was sharing it. I was crying. 
He said, now God changed his story. Carelessly, one man, one young boy just came. Ibo boy. Say, man, oh God, you've been a blessing to my life. I've been following you, watching your message and doing this. Please send me your account. He just installed the account. Don't send anything. You know when you see someone just wear short knickers. You know how Ibo people used to dress now? Just put pants slander. <laughs> you know they don't allow their money to show on them. Only in programs and locations. You see them dress. So he told his accountant, leave this guy. The guy called back the ministry again. I think he came from Onicha also. Called back the ministry again. Says, please, I, I've been asking for account number. He said they should leave the guy and no answer him. One day, go appear to him. John, see what's your problem? Did the boy say you should kiss somebody? He said you should send account number. You know, you don't expect anything from you. Just feel all those kind of 1,000 NRC, 2,000 NRC, and say, man, I'll go manage it. He now told the accountant, send the accounts to him. In 30 minutes, what he saw was 1 billion. That, he said from that day, he vowed not to despise anybody again. <laughs> One billion. The guy wired. Ibo boy, small boy. Just One billion. So you can be working with people like this. You think all of you are the same. You don't know who is who. <laughs> Lift up your hands and pray. Oh God! Connect me, connect my family to destiny helpers. Please help us for us. If they are Uzzah because he was marvelously helped by God. Let's help us on my family. Let's help us on my family. <laughs> Roto 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 La baba baya ga brila mbo baya mwa ga bele de tous Iga rota baya ga brua ga le ga le ga soto Le baba raga ga baba ya la ga 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 Rapata dozo goto bala ya ta ta bala ka ta ba dozo Leto goto dozo goto bala ta bala ka ta ba dozo Leto goto goto bala ta ba dozo Shia la ga 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 la Shia ga la 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 Roto goto dozo goto bala ka ta bala ka ta bala ka ta bala ka ta Rapata dozo goto bala ta ba bala ka ta bala ka ta bala ka ta bala ka ta Ata mate, ata mate, ata mate Shia ba la 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 ba
and that's all. I'm supposed to see him now next week. The gift of men. Who would have brought Israel to Egypt if not for Joseph? No wonder Joseph said he sent me ahead to preserve you. Some of the people you know today, not necessarily them directly, but maybe you are you just work with your friend, your friend's friend now came and said, ah, This is my friend. I said, How are you doing? You might need that person now in 20 years to come. That's the person that will help you. And remember, he or she cited you with a friend that day. Be good to people. Are we together? Be good. People are bad. People have stopped me. Are we following? And then twisted the knife. You know, it's one thing. If they stab you, it's okay. My own, they turn the knife so that the thing will pierce my heart very well. People have, have hurt me. People have paid me back evil for good that I did to them. In fact, basically from the major people I labored more on. They've paid me for evil. I've spent my last dime on people. They end up hurting me back. That is, I, I gave them my resources. Not me. It's not spiritual. Anointing. My finances. Yet they fought me back. So if I want to follow that, I'll be a bad person today. But somebody's badness do not, should not make you change your personality. If you do, then that person is your role model. What's your role model? Somebody you follow after. So if the person can influence you enough to change your good nature to bad, that person is what? Your role model. But I choose to remain true to who I am. I got to a point I felt so terrible that I feel like I would never help people in my life again. But I've seen the dividend of staying true with God. Just keep being good. When it's his time, he will raise you up. He will raise you up. When it's his time, stay with him. Be good. Don't mind. Don't worry. Help people. Help them as much as you can. Are we together? Help them. You are in a car. Somebody wants to pick a load. Just can I assist you? Don't sit down there and say, don't allow the load to touch me. Don't allow the load to touch me. You never can tell. You might be sitting with a senator's child. You never can tell. I've met unusual people in unusual ways and in unusual places. Unusual people. Unusual people. You, you don't know circumstances that can make the person be at that point in time. Are we together? Please, I beg you. Be good to people. Is that okay? Be good to people. Relationship is a great currency in the time we are. The time we are. It's a great currency. It can give you what all the revelation I taught you can never give you. Relationship. When who you know matches what you know, your result become massive in life. Are we together? You can have all the gifting and not have the access. So you think because I am anointed as a pastor, I can stay and die in Niger State and nobody will know I am existing. I can bring all the revelation. I have predicted certain things in this country perfectly. I predict elections. I predict strike. Follow it. Tell you exact date, everything. Not not this one you guess. The date. Tell you the, they will call the strike 18th of six months ahead. I give you the exact date. Did they hear it in punch, punch news or premium times? But if not for the quality of people, I would die here with all your gift. Joseph had all the ability to dream dreams and interpret them. But he didn't know Pharaoh. The guy could not dream dream. It was even Joseph helping him. So yeah, this is how it looked like. This is how it looked like. But he was the one that took Joseph to that palace. You can have the gift, but don't have the access. And most of the times, even those that have the access might not even look like it. They might be people you can easily despise. That's why, check it. Most people that can easily give you admission in this school, it's not professor, it's all these messengers. They, they know how to follow God and beg. Okay, Danla, I pray one day, brother, I want you to help. But professor is doing phone call. And the other person is getting angry and say, you are calling me, you can't even come to my office. You know, they say when two elephants is fighting, the grand that suffers. Don't, prophet, they will use you and be doing... <laughs> are we together? Those people you think in companies can give you a job. My brother is a lawyer. He was telling me, he said, Brother the people you shouldn't joke with in the courts are the messengers of the judge. You know, they will tell you, call up cases. If they seize your file. <laughs> say, he said, lawyers fear them like anything. Those guys that are doing messenger for this thing. Once your fire go, that's all about your case. You start again. See, those guys. <laughs> and if they want your case to be forward, they know what to do. You put money to go faster. You know, in the country we are now, money is the vehicle that moves things. You want to take a fire from Senate building to Senate Affairs, it goes on the wings of some currencies. <laughs> money is the new transport system. <laughs> is that not so? Uh -huh. I pray for you. May God connect you to help us of destiny. May God release destiny help us for your family from today. I declare and I declare, you will not know sweat in life. You will not know delay in life. 
right from this moment people will come to you that will give you creative ideas people will come to you that will connect you to your next level in life in the name of Jesus pray this prayer finally as we round up the meeting tonight delay brings about despair discouragement and distraction delay brings about sit down I teach for two minutes delay brings about what despair discouragement and distraction such that even the Bible knows and God said in Proverbs hope deferred make it the heart sick hope deferred make it the heart sick some of you know right now if you just think about your family you are not okay again possibly maybe you have your siblings that are not married you have your siblings that are done with school they are not job you just think now you know it's, it's an issue are we together are we following does it mean we won't experience some little level of um, of time frame we would but we have the rules to judge it by scriptures he said weeping may endure for what the night once it is more than the night it is not god he said but this light affliction is for a moment once it is more than a moment it is no longer god he said in first peter is this first peter 5 10 or so he said after you have suffered a little while once it's more than a little while it's not a long while it's not god again are we together what we want to pray is speed lord give speed to my destiny are we together that's why i make you understand what delay can bring get to a point you are discouraged finish school five years no job you are discouraged are we together you are tired it brings despair it brings discouragement it brings what distraction distraction that's when you will speak tongues and begin to contemplate should you not just make up your mind and do this are we together oh pray that prayer in 10 minutes can we rise up now oh god speed give speed Give speed speed let the ways of every member of my family open release speed upon us release speed upon us release speed upon us Sotto, 
In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Make sure you get all the prayer points. Those following us online, on the online radio, social media platforms. Make sure you keep praying. We started last week. Last week we dealt personally with ourselves and our work with God personally last week but this week we are dealing personally with our individual lives and families is that okay that's why we are praying we we'll pray it finally i'll leave you to do that please feel free move around and pray we've we'll prayed for speed now one thing i want to pray for is that your ways and the ways of every member of your family open do you know the joy why we are going home i make a prophecy here i said as you step your feet in your own what is not working begin to walk if you know the testimonies we have received, Jesus, strange miracles, strange miracles, strange miracles. One of my daughters sent me a message from Lagos. She said, Papa, prayer works. See, remember the prayer you prayed? Immediately I entered home. Money, boom, entered my house. The building they left for a long time started again. The building is going up. This one came. Papa, pa, pa. I was just laughing. Are we together? It's a joy. Than where you see the devil has tied down family. Nobody is going forward. Nothing. Everybody is stagnant. You will walk around and pray. And say, Lord, I give speech to all my siblings. Those that are barren receive children. Those that are jobless receive jobs. She galabra go to get uh, Whatever it is. Lord, begin to prophesy everyone in your bloodline that is jobless I command jobs to be released every unmarried one I release marriages now everyone that is buried I release children now prophesy over your family prophesy over your siblings that shame is ended now that reproach is taken away now. Captivity ends now. Shabbat You want to do a business? I release the money now. For those who are online, I pray. Let you are carrying in your bloodline. I command your wounds to be open. I command your wounds to be open. Every unmarried one in your family. I release marriage is now. I release marriage is now. I release marriage is now. I break that spell of darkness. I break that spell of darkness. 
I release it now. Everywhere the devil has held your life bound. Everywhere the devil has held your body bound. What I command, break, 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 break. I release speed to your life. I release speed to every member of your family. I command your ways open. I command the ways of every member of your family open. I command your ways open. Your ways open. Your ways open. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I see in a vision right now an old man getting angry and saying, Impossible, it will never work. Pray this last prayer with arrogance and rockedity. Everyone in my bloodline, everyone connected to me in any way that has vowed that over their dead body shall the glory of my life and family rise. Visit them with your fire now. This is the way to go. 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 I strike them dead. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Anyone sitting on your destiny. Anyone sitting on the death of your family. I invoke the sword of the Lord. 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 I strike dead. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Ah. <laughs> I break those chains now. That chain is broken. That chain of shame. That chain of reproach. That chain of hardship. That chain of difficulty. That chain of stagnation is broken now. Is broken now. Is broken now. That chain of sickness. That chain of death. He's broken now. 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 Every darkness over your life, over your family, covering your glory, 
Cobre your star. I set on fire. 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 Comment of shame. Comment of reproach. Comment of rejection. I set on fire. I set on fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire, 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 Robe beleke mutwa ga brani ko balata ela kwa kwa ya go brene kwadia la prosiki butwa ka kwa mi da kwa kwa ete ala kwa ga kwa kwa butwa reke butwa so botwa ela ni grutwe ke ba kwa 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 ete ela da kwa kwa bi ga mo weza ela kwa ga pa ela pa ta eka benu sei da ba ga mi ate da le roba to sa ta e ru ka to sa ta Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Shabanando Pigadasa, there is power begin to use the name of jesus now speak to the altar so jesus over that joblessness jesus over that sickness jesus over that barrenness jesus over that pain over that repose over that disappointment I shout the name Jesus I am the son of God's name Every knee bow Every knee bow Every knee bow Every knee bow Over my family I decree Jesus I decree Jesus Oh Jabba take it on the trial Around your life, around your family, and now every demonic manipulation. Against your life, against your family, I judge them by fire. 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 Everyone trusting God for marital settlement. I release marriages now. Amen. I release marriages now. Amen. I release marriages now. Amen. And I prophesy every home where there are marital tumors, where there are unrest of mind, quarrels here and there, 
I invoke the government of heaven upon those homes now. I prophesy peace. I prophesy peace. I prophesy peace. I prophesy peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I decree wherever there is financial struggles, financial difficulty between now and the end of July, for you, for your family, may a major financial breakthrough hit you. Amen. May a major financial break to open up Amen. for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I hear God say to me, tell them to ask me for anything. Anything. One minute. Ask God. Once you want specifically to happen between now and the end of July, you can pray for other things, but look for something that you want God between now and the end of July. Those of us following online, the live radio, please go ahead across the nations of the world. Ask whatever you want that you will know that there is a God that lives. You will see instant testimonies right now. Right now, scattered across the globe. Instant miracles. Instant testimonies now. Instant testimonies now. You want to say, Pastor, please help me. I want to be born again. All right. Oh, I want to dedicate my life. My work with God is no longer strong. It's nothing to write home about. I want the Holy Ghost to come mind upon my life and help me to live the Christian race. Please, wherever you are, you are in any of this category. Let me see your hands up. Very quickly, let me see your hands up. It's a wonderful decision you want to take tonight. I want to strengthen my work with God. I want to know Jesus better. I want the Holy Ghost to come fresh upon me tonight. Wherever you are, let me see your hand. If you are waving, if your hands are up, let me see it well. Let me see your hands. Please wave it up. Let me see your hands up. Thank you, our Father. If you are doing so, please come to the front. If you are waving your hands, please come to the front. If you are in any of these categories, please come very quickly. Let me pray with you. Lift up your hands. Lord, I release a blessing upon your people. Let your blessing sit upon them. Let your hands be strong upon them. I decree you blessed. Enjoy uncommon favor. God's grace shines upon you. God bless you. Thank you for listening. We trust that you have been blessed. Come